Alrighty, hey guys, um, today we're going to do something a little different, <laughs> something I don't usually do, but um, today we're going to do a comparison video. Today, we are going to go with iPod 4th generation, sorry you can't really see that, but yeah, iPod 4th generation versus iPod fifth gen. Now, as you can tell, like, right away, let's go, ah, there we go, oh, there we go, um, as you can tell right away, let's just get this case off there, since we obviously want to see the Mac and stuff, alrighty, we're good. Alright, so first you can definitely tell the difference. The screen is a lot more different. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the fourth gen has a much wider one. The fourth gen has a much wider screen. It's about that much wider. Um, the fifth gen has, I'd say, a definitely smaller wider screen, but... Um, Obviously the first thing, the first difference you guys can tell is the 5th gen is a lot more longer. Like, if we compare it like that, you can tell that this guy, I'm sorry, yeah, this guy is a lot, um, like basically longer than, um, this guy right here. And as you can tell, that's partially because of the screen difference. This one has a lot bigger screen. And um, the second difference, as you can tell, is the back. Now, this is a 16 gig. If I can just... Well, you can't... Oh, damn it, excuse me. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see 16 gigs, but it is 16 gigs. Um, this one, you can still see it, but because it's covered in scratches and everything, um, it's 32 gigs, so it's a lot bigger than this one. It's twice as big. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, as you can tell, this looks this back looks a lot, lot nicer than um, the silver. Um, another thing is the camera. Now, this camera is pretty damn small. Um, it's not the greatest camera, but this is a major difference. Um, camera on this one is a lot bigger, and as you can tell, the LED. Um, flash right there. I'm gonna put my finger to it. It's right there. And the camera is a lot bigger. Also, you may see that there's a microphone straight in the middle of the camera and the LED flash. Um, another key difference is the charging. Now, this, the charges are both different. I'm sure you guys have seen that. that is way different than that. <laughs> that charge is a lot bigger than this one. Um, I actually, I just put like pictures up, I guess. Um, so, pictures, picture for the fourth game should be up right now. As you can tell, it's a lot bigger. Um, so, yeah, and the fifth gen picture should be up now. And as you can tell, it's a lot, lot smaller than um, the previous generation. Um, yeah, so, this is still, as you can tell, um, this is iOS 6. You can tell because of the photos and stuff, and I'm, there we go. And you can tell that this is Gen iOS 8 because of the different photos and cameras and everything. <laughs> um, uh, let's go to the camera. 
Let's go to the camera. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna take a photo of something right now, like this wizard guy. And show you guys the difference. Alright. Oh crap, some video. <laughs> Whoops. Just gonna cancel that photo. Alright, let it focus. Alright, bam, so I just took a photo of Alright, so that's two photos of the same thing. So, um, you can definitely tell this one is a lot more, <laughs> um, basically a lot worse, I'd say. Because you guys probably won't see as much of a difference in the camera, but all of it's laggy and it's just not good and as you can tell the fifth generation marks it pretty damn well in the money um, it looks a lot better than the previous gen so the camera is definitely upgraded um, no doubt about that <laughs> um, another thing is this is the different layout between the two so, um, on the 4th gen, you just have, this is the 4th gen layout, as you can see, um, just the front and rear facing camera, and you can see the video, and the actual photo to take a picture, and, um, in the top, you can, top center, you can see the options tab, where, um, You've got grid. I don't know exactly what grid does, but this is what it. Actually, let's test it. <laughs> let's test grid on what it does. Let's see, does it do much? No, not really. So the grid doesn't even do that much. Um, just an option. But, as you can tell, there's a bunch of more options on the 5th gen. Because you got photo, video, time lapse, um, square, <laughs> and pano. I don't know what pano, or pano, panorama. I think it's how you say it, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, um, you've got, what's that, 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. So you've got basically five more camera options you can do. Um, also, you've got flash, so if I... Okay, that wasn't on flash, but whatever. I don't know, it's, I don't know why it does that. But, um, yeah, this definitely has a lot more key things than the last gen. The last gen doesn't have auto autofocus, but this one does have autofocus, as you guys can tell. There's a picture. Oh. oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, I think. Oh, yeah, and, um, the screen itself definitely has a more brighter, um, thing. It's a lot brighter. Brighter. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> brighter than the 4th gen um, but um, I don't know if you guys could tell but I do have a crack in the top of my iPod which is shitty and as you guys can tell there's a major crack in my 4th gen um, this iPod works fine, it's nothing wrong with it, it's not major or anything, but as you can tell, the top bit is just absolutely done for. You can't turn the on button on or off, or you can't do anything. Um, and there's one last thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh, what was it? Oh yeah. Um, the notifications. So, um, this is the typical layout of the 4th gen. You've got, um, you have to enable, uh, you have to enable, 
um, instant at. <laughs> so connection to access the weather, just kind of crappy, but what are you going to do? Uh, that's the basic one. If I had the um, iPod connectivity, connectivity on, you would actually be able to see the weather, the stocks, the everything else. Hmm. Also, you can see tap to tweet, tap to post, so, uh, pff, I don't even know. <laughs> it must be, you must be able to tweet something in Twitter or tap something in, um, Facebook. But, um, check out the eye of this. And as you can tell, there's a major difference already. Um, I've got my Wi-Fi on. So, as you can tell, guys. It's a major difference, even with no Wi-Fi, you still get um, the things you need, like the weather, stocks, for example, they're all there, you get tomorrow, um, you get your notifications, so there's definitely a difference, there's no two menu thingy um, on, on it. And this is actually really handy just because you get notifications and today, so if you where the weather was like, it's definitely really handy to have. Um, but yeah, also, if we go up like that, um, if I try to go up, so if I hang on, I equal this thing for a sec, um, if I try to push up there's nothing as you can see nothing you can do nothing goes up but when you go up like when you push up with your thumb on um the fifth gen there's a lot more options like there's music there's all these bluetooth wire wireless brightness so um there's a lot more advantages Alright, sorry for the cutoff there. <laughs> so I'm just gaming on a room and announce. And yeah, let's look after my dog Charlie for a bit. So, um, I guess the. I'm gonna talk about five disadvantages on the fourth gen and then the advantages of the fifth gen. Um, disadvantages on the fourth gen is that. It, uh, it's kind of old, <laughs> like it's just old, it doesn't have, like, this one is just plain better, I mean the camera, it doesn't have many options, um, I couldn't message on this phone, even though I did find out how to message on um, the iPod 5th gen, um, the iPod 4th gen I could never, ever message people <laughs> even though I know now how to um but yeah um um third disadvantage is that it has no pop-up like unlike the fifth gen I, I really like the fifth gen it just pops up and you get everything right at you, you don't even have to be opened to the actual um to the thing you don't have to even unlock it it's just basically Press the home button, you swipe up, and bam, everything is on there. You don't even need to unlock it. So that's another thing. Uh, so yeah, that's the disadvantage of this. And the fifth disadvantage is basically um, this one's laggy. <laughs> this one is super laggy because it's so old. Um, but yeah. That's basically it. Um, advantages of this one is that it's a lot thinner and it's a lot longer. Um, that's probably a disadvantage, but hey, it looks nicer. There's a lot more camera options. As just iOS 8 is so much better than iOS 6. Um, the responsive time is pretty good. And um, yeah. So, 
that's basically my comparison video. Um, the one thing I will say, um, I just wish that Apple did tougher screens. Like this one smashed completely um, from two drops, and this one fell on the concrete um, from out of my pocket, and when I went to wipe it, when I went to it like that, it cracked right up the top. So, um, disadvantage, the screens are not that undestructible at all, <laughs> really. So, um, if I had to say anything, um, more decent screens, more like shatterproof screens. Um, basically better screens that are not breakable, and um, I don't know if you guys know this, but you could go to the Gorilla Grant, <laughs> I can't speak, um, Gorilla Glass um, website to get their screens, which are really decent, which are really good, but um, yeah, in the future, it should really just be tougher. Um, is my opinion, but, um, yeah, yours may differ, and, um, yeah, that is basically my comparison video, um, tell me if I did a good job or not, <laughs> this is my first ever comparison video, so, I hope you guys got a lot of information from this, and, um, I hope I did well, but, um, yeah, this is gonna be it, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, tomorrow I've got footy early in the morning. And also I might do more um, custom mixes. Um, custom dancing mixes I might dance to. It might be my favorite music mix or whatever. But um, yeah. And I think I'm going to work on some more slow-mo stuff. Like slow-mo... Um, Probably more reviews if you guys enjoyed this one and want more. Um, and mixes. Maybe, um, maybe of my favorite songs I could list like, I don't know, five songs that I think are really cool and I could dance to them. And um, all you guys could suggest for me, if you guys would really like a mix and want me to answer it and see how it goes. <laughs> Um, post in the comments below, and, um, yeah, that is basically, that is basically it for this review, and, um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.